This is 2OF Entertainment. I know it's coming. I already saw it. <laughs> ah, well, you see, because we've got we've got everybody's in today. We've got the whole crew in today. We've got big audience. Wow! Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Big audience. He's here. He's here. Mr. Macau. Oh my God! So he's our very special guest today. Oh, well. So, so thought I'd get him on the show. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people have come to see him. So the whole crew's here. Uh, hey, can you ever wait. bring him on Lost Dollar Business Club? No, no. <laughs> okay. No, no. I mean, uh, well, Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky. Hola, Baba G. Baba G. Hanky Panky, 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 Panky. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Hanky Panky's now working um, with us. Is he? What? Yeah, I know, I know. He's come a long way. He's um, he's working with us um, on the on the production team. So he's uh, oh, I mean, can't wait to see doing, the production now. Doing doing bits and bobs, doing bits and bobs. Isn't that right? Doing bits right. and bobs. Oh my there god! Okay. So so Mr. Yeah. McCow is with us today for the show because yeah you know you always complaining that we didn't get any special guests. So he's literally here we go. He's flown in special. Oh, my God. What this, is gonna be a, this is going to be a long show today, the day this after the elections long... in the United States, and we still don't know who pres the president is. So there you go. Well, we decided to be not. We, we, had, we had our... Um... We already said that we think Trump won. So there you go. Yeah, but we decided we weren't going to talk too much about politics uh, no, because people, people needed... people. To, well, Mr. McCown... Oh. No, um, because... Um, we decided that the best thing to do was not to talk about politics today because people are probably all a bit bit tired of it, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. So, um, right. yeah. Well, so cheers, I to think new, we cheers, just... to cheers to the new dictator and let's move on. Let's, so uh, let's get going. All right. All right. On Ooh. this week's No Snobs or Knobs, we have Strange and Weird Facts, The yeah. Rant of the Week, on this day, lost words, knobby news, sex horoscope, oh my God, conspiracy theories, could you live here, birthday cake, and the AI slut of the week. All right, yep. it'll be good. All right, yeah. here we go, kitties. Go, world. Strange and weird fact, what was the first fruit eaten on the moon? I didn't know those guys were gay. They were gay? Up there, he's not. You are? He's not going to get. He's not going to get this one. Well, <laughs> it's either a banana, a peach, or an apple, so it's not that difficult. Yeah, well, you know, that, I mean, even you could get, even you could work that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I, I would say a banana is too sexual. A peach yeah. is too juicy. So you got to go yeah. with the apple. Oh my god! Oh my god! Right, okay, so, so, um, uh, so apple. you're gonna, uh, gonna, it's apple then. It's apple. Or so yeah, what was pasta? the first fruit other than two uh, gay guys on the moon? What was the first fruit yeah. eaten on the moon? An apple. It's an apple. It's an, an apple. apple. Yeah. Rant of the week. Oh, yeah. Miss Eileen Over is going to tell us something spectacular. I am sure. Oh, uh, okay, right. Well, um, I don't have a rant. I'm 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 oh. rant free this morning because He's rant free this morning. I, I okay. had uh, what you call I've I've been traveling. I'm very chill. I had everything was good on all our business trips. The airlines were good. The hotels were good. So yeah, there's nothing to rant about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised to hear. Okay, guys. So we uh, are we ready for this? Are we ready? It's up for Stephen. No rant this week. Okay. It's time to move on. The rant of the week by Miss Eileen Dover in Beaverlick, Kentucky. Yep. Plastic packaging. 
the stuff that yeah. Hudo, though comes in. Why do we need uh, a chainsaw to open plastic packaging? That's a good question. I was trying to open my new vibrator um, and not out. What the what? I'm just trying to open my new vibrator, not break out of oh, Alcatraz. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I, don't, right, I, very think, nice. I think it's. Uh, I think it actually says headphones. No, no, so I was just trying to get. Oh, I was just trying to get into my new vibrator. Um, not break yeah. out of Alcatraz is exactly what it okay. says. And her okay. thing is plastic well, packaging. All the, for all the people that are on the, all the people that are on the podcast. That's correct. Yes. Um, <laughs> I mean, the people that are actually reading this on YouTube may go, "I know vibrator was spilt that way." Yeah. And so we'll yeah. see if they're paying attention. So, uh, there you go. Okay. Right. Well, we did actually. Uh, we actually. Uh, she contacted me and left me a message. And um, so uh, she did ask me to pay it, so play it. So uh, because we 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 were making what well, you know we kept hold on we we'll get there. We, so he was making we were making these remarks and um, yeah. yeah and the crew and I thought well you know we'll give her an opportunity yeah, wait wait to give her an opportunity um, to uh, to abuse. reply yeah okay. to reply so so this this was her answer but she left this. On, my, on the answer phone here. At, sure. Uh, the answer phone. phone. Wow, how old are you? <laughs> I don't have to cook and clean. I'm a trophy wife. Yeah. Yeah, well, with a name like Eileen over and you'll be living in Beaver Lick, let's hope so, because uh, that's yeah. not the impression so, I get. Uh, that's, that's the fact the, that she uh, just that's... ordered a vibrator, I'm very impressed by. So. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's move on. Here we go. On this day, which would be On November 6th, what happened? Yeah. On this day, November 6th, 2011. Oh, yeah. goody. Another Guinness World Records for the most consumed dogs, costume dogs in a parade. Okay. In St. Petersburg, Florida, of course, where dead people go to die. Um, the world record was set for the largest gathering of costume dogs in a parade with over 500 dogs dressed in Halloween costumes. It was... Bizarrely funny is a bizarre lap. Bizarrely funny sight with pooches dressed from everything from pirates to pumpkins, bringing a smile to the onlooker and raising funds for the local animal shelter. Well, I like the animal shelter part. Other than that, yeah. St. Petersburg is the home of Scientology, Tom Cruise, and where people go to die. Okay, very nice. Uh, so, um, just asked the uh, ask the crew, what do you think, guys? Was it uh, is is this a good one? Yeah. Well, we've got a couple of dog lovers here. Well, yeah, but and being a dog lover, uh, so you should always give to your local animal shelters. So, yeah, so yeah. you don't need a costume um, party to do it. So if you're watching the right. show, go uh, give to your local animal shelter. Come on, chop, chop, get out of the program. Yeah. That chop, is what I'm all day. Get out, get out yeah. there and do it. Okay, so. Get out there and do it. Oh, here we go. Lost, Lost words. words. Uh, this one is especially uh, for you. Lewdster. What's a lewdster? I'm writing notes here. Oh, Lost word. word. Okay. A lewdster. Yeah. Wow. Well, do you know what a lewdster? It has to be someone who's perverted, I would think. A lewdster. Or someone who's a lewd and a stir. I have no idea what a lootster is. What is a lootster? A lootster is. A man who off, 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 a man with offensive or crude sexual behavior, similar yeah. to the modern terms like a pervert. I was close. I said someone was like, yeah. all right, very yeah. nice. I'm not a so, lootster. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, you know. That's because I don't like to wear pants or underwear when I go out. That doesn't make me a rooster. It just makes me hip. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Nice. You know, I wasn't, uh, what can I say? I mean, really, I mean, oh, dearie me. I, I, it's, right. uh, I, I thought you might get it because the name was sort of alluding. Well, that's what I said. Something. You're just rude or lewd or crea. I kind of yeah. got it, but yeah. I mean, yeah, you, it's you just basically. I kind of got it. So okay, very you good, very of, nice, 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 yeah. nice. He kind of got it. He kind of got it, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Okay. What's he doing? Yeah.
We, we, had right. a whole bus, we had a whole busload come in this morning. Uh, a whole uh, busload of people wreck, from the home. I see that. Okay. Wrecking yeah, wreck, wreck, wreck the place. Wrecking the place. Wow. So um, time to uh, move on. Oh, uh, it's the Nobby News of the Week. Are you yeah. ready? No, I'm never yeah. ready for yeah. this one. Let's go, yeah. Nobby News. Yeah. What do we got? Yeah. yeah, well, you know, before we start, I just I just have to repeat this because you might have missed it. I don't have to on. cook and clean. I'm a trophy wife. Mm. There you go. Well, she's not a trophy wife. So uh, yeah. we know that. Eileen Dove is not a trophy wife. Um, she's she is a trophy much, wife. But thank you very much for... Um, for what the message? Yeah, it was on the answer, on the answer machine. You know, really, as you like to call it, the dictating machine. What? You call it a dictating machine earlier, or some ridiculous thing? <laughs> was it a dictating machine? It was an answering I, machine that you could. I don't know. You, you said something dictate. earlier. We'll have to go back and watch the tape. But yeah, you said something oh, earlier. Yeah. Well, it's probably something that you could dictate to. Right. You're just a so, um, All right, we've got, we've, Let's go. We we've got some got some crackers in here, so uh, we go again. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Drunk is a skunk. Drunk is a skunk. Study yeah. shows animals love booze as much as us. I love it. The biggest boozer in the animal kingdom uh, appears to be insects. Yep. Fruit flies lay even that. Fruit flies lay their eggs in ethanol-rich foods, protecting them from oh parasites. Very cool. Male fruit flies yep. turn to alcohol. When they are rejected, oh my God! And females are closely related to species, become less picky about their mates when they have sex with males after drinking alcohol. So I have a question: Who the hell is studying fruit flies and alcohol? Like, how lonely must you be? Oh know. come on, Stephen! I mean, really? Oh, oh my God! Okay. Yeah, well, that's just a funny like story. It. It's too scientific. I, I said this last week. It's too, he, he yeah, yeah, matter. that's just, that's, that's, that's just, that's just, that, we're not 60 minutes here. So, uh, oh, it's okay. well, um, well, let's, we better move on to number two. Number two. Okay. Number two, Nazi raccoon. Have, Nazi raccoons. Where, uh, else you, uh, where else are you on the internet and you're going to find yes. Nazi raccoons? Nazi and, uh, raccoon uh, plagues the street of, a Germ of Germany, but one butcher has a solution. Yeah, Germany introduced, Germany introduced raccoons during the Nazi era, but have yeah. they, but they've thrived in the country. Is now the at the loggerheads with its raccoon population. Oh, yeah. Butcher reckons that he has the answer. Michael Nazi, um, a hunter and sausage seller in Saxon, says that he can redefine uh, re re that redefine the raccoon pop pests. Um, his four six says, Wait, his raccoons. No, he wants to make them the sausage. He wants to redefine, uh, uh, yeah, make them. He wants raccoon yes, sausage. Delicacies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got that. All right, when asked about their taste, he said it's difficult to describe, but if you eat one of my regular brock borsches, um, and then eat a raccoon sausage, you'll know the difference. Yeah, one tastes like raccoon. Nazi yeah. raccoons turn sausage. I don't know if I, uh, I like the Nazi raccoon thing. I just don't yeah. like, the, I don't want them as sausage, though. Oh, well, you know, what can I say? What do you think? Because uh, you, got, you got this one, didn't you, Hanky? You got Hanky, this one, yeah? Panky, Ola Baba V, Baba V, Hanky, Panky, 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 Panky. The new guy figured it out, huh? Yeah. The new guy, he, 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 he thought, he but, thought when he, as soon as he saw Nazi raccoons, he thought. Oh, he figured oh. anything with Nazi in it, I would like. No, so there you go. No, yeah. no, no, Nazis. No, don't look at, don't look at me like that. Anyway, um, so, Nazi right, raccoon, so the Nazi raccoon yeah. is a delicacy. I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know if it's my, it's, it's okay. Maybe we'll see. No, well, we, you know, we, we underestimated that uh, somewhat. Yeah, I think uh, so. Like most of those stories you guys, your team does, you underestimate them. All right, let's Thank see if we get to the next one. The best Thank one last you. week was the dead guy who woke up. That was the best story last week. Yeah. Well, the same. what can I say? Uh, oh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of dead people waking up. That's uh, number number three, then. Here's one for you, Stephen. Uh, there we go. An inventor creates a what? A contraption? Uh, what? A, a, a contraceptive device. Thank you. The inventor creates a, a contraceptive man. device with testicles he, to paralyze sperm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. An investor creates a contraceptive device that heats up 
men's testicles to paralyze sperm. Alternative yeah, contraceptive yeah. pioneer have created a terrifying new birth control device, which involves clamping testicles and frying the sperm. That's a whole yeah. different than fry eggs. But don't yeah. worry, it's 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 reversible. Condoms can yeah. break. Vasectomies are pretty painful. So the search for a new form of male contraceptives has led the investor to creating a device that paralyzes sperm. Paralyzes sperm. That's, that's the, the name of this Okay, the cocoon device heats men's testicles up to 41.4 degrees Celsius, yeah. so about 130 yeah. Fahrenheit, before sex to paralyze their sperm. It's said to have a 100% success rate in human trials. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Paralyzing sperm. Paralyzing okay. sperm. Okay. Only, only on this channel. And um, what do we think, uh, crew? Is that, is that one up for uh, I'll tell you. You're a pervert. You're a pervert. I told you that, love. Put him up. Paralyzing sperm. We, we have someone here who has limited stature. He won't leave him alone. Anyway, um, so we're off. Uh, Somebody, so yeah, sometimes when I have to, sometimes when I have to read these off the cuff, my dyslexia kicks in. I really have to take my time. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, it's, I, in, I, it's I, in, I, interesting. 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 We'll see. Yeah. I got drunk animals, Nazi raccoons, and and paralyzing sperm so far. I got three more to go. Hopefully, something's good here. Keep going. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's uh, we're welcome. That's, very little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's 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 encouraged the team. That is, I'll tell you. Right, right off we go. Listen, then number three. The beatings. The beatings the continue until the attitude changes. All right. Yeah. Oh, let's we have to number, number three then, so we so we can bore the ass off you with this one. Uh, yeah, number can't four. Wait. Man hid father's body in freezer. I love it already. Man hid body. Bleh. Man hid father's body in freezer for four years, so he yeah. wouldn't lose the home. A man accused yeah. of hiding his father's corpse in the backyard, frozen for years, while he continued to claim social security checks. The Arizona Police Department reported, um, uh, got re uh, responded to a tip that Joseph Hill, fifty-one, could be hiding a body in the garden. He, yeah. refused, he refused to let cop, cops get close to the freezer, but when they finally gained access, they found human remains believed to be his father. He didn't report Ooh. his father's death because he was not named on the deed for the home, and he did not want to become homeless. Big time. Well, he's not homeless now, is he? Because he's got somewhere yeah, to live. No, he's in jail. And, and uh, he's got free food, so I don't know what he's worried about now. So, um, yeah, what can I say? It's uh, that, that's quite good. Really. That's, that's, yeah, that's, it's not as yeah. good as the dead guy, but uh, it's getting there. I'm hoping to get yeah. two more to go. I'm assuming one of these yeah. is going to be good. <laughs> well, we'll just we'll just uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll ask the coach the coach party. What do you think? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's good that you guys are all thank giving pats on your back you. for, for no reason. Thank you, all right. Thank you for your money. What do you got? Right. Number four. Um, yeah. The, uh, the, complacency, was the complacency and the apathy in, in the show is yeah. uh, this know. week. Is, I'm waiting is for something cool. good, something funny, right, something. The Nazi raccoon so far is okay. But we'll see. What else you got? <laughs> he doesn't – look, we had this discussion before we came on that. I said to you, he is going to love Nazi raccoons. And what did you say? He hates Nazi raccoons. Yeah, okay, oh. well, it's good they weren't Nazi McCalls. Yeah, oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. let's see what we got. Yeah. Hey. What? No. Anyway, um, uh, number, number five. Uh, five, which comes after yeah, number comes after four. four. Thank you, yeah. Mr. McCann, for your for the interruption. Um, yeah, number five. Yeah, you'll go back in that box. Okay. Right, number number five. Five. Here we go. Well, number five. Ha <laughs> ha. Prickly mayor bans <laughs> cactus plants in a building. The mayor yeah. of Nazi Germany bans the spiky plant from municipal buildings after a man required medical attention after injuring himself. I don't want to know what he did to it. On a cactus in a school building, yeah. he, is now, right. he has now banned the humble cactus from the town hall, schools, and nurseries. In a letter to the state, he said, due to the current situation, all official and private cacti 
must be removed from municipal buildings immediately so stupid residents won't try to fuck them. Um, the mayor said that he was banning um, undertaken because such plans cause ugly injuries. No, stupid people cause ugly injuries. So banning a cactus, dumbest thing in the world. So, but yeah. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. Well, um, you know. What can I say? I don't, 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 yeah, I believe it's Germany. So we're going, we're going on this German theme. I see oh, that. You've got the Nazi Germany kick going on. Yeah. We'll it's ask the questions. I, so. I, think, I think that Mr. Macau is actually... Um, hey, do you know how origin. they do knock knock jokes in Germany? No. You go knock knock, and instead of saying who's there, they go, We'll ask the questions. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, well, I've got all right. a knock I've got a knock joke for you. So go ahead. And it says uh, knock knock. Who's there? Adolf. Adolf who? Adolf Ball hit me in the mode. But that's another story. God help us. All right, number six. Number six, we move on to... Yeah, hopefully, six. hopefully, hopefully we move uh, on. Um, who's this one from, uh, guys? Do we know? Do, what? Uh, no. Number six. Let's go. Chop, chop. We got things. Yeah. Audience we, is we, falling asleep. We've got, we got a disturbance happening here. Right, we're off. Oh, shoot them. World's largest pair of jeans measures 250 feet long. Hello, yeah. the ladies leading this short. A Chinese textile company assembled a team of more than 30 garment makers to break the Guinness, of course, the Guinness World Book of Records for the largest pair of jeans and penis. The garment makers with Yangandaga Textile Company in Yogabapa City, 18 working, uh, as he spent 18 working days to create the massive pair, which measured 250 feet 5 inches, and the waist was 190 feet and 10 inches. Okay. The yeah. jeans feature a one eighteen thousand forty four feet of denim fabric 25 feet and 59 inches of a zipper hey, hey now and three foot nine inches stainless steel button the tremendous trousers weigh wow a staggering seven thousand nine hundred and thirty six wow that is a beauty All yeah right. so um uh, is that uh, is that uh, good or bad then Oh, I mean, you know, it's interesting. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, interesting. this week, nothing is like, I mean, the paralyzing sperm, that was okay. The Nazi raccoon, though, I just think that's hysterical that this guy's just trying to monetize that. So there's nothing here that's like, like a clear winner, but it's really between the paralyzing sperm and the Nazi raccoon. Those would be the, those would be my top two. The rest are just really cute. Yeah. Nothing like a dead guy waking up before they try to take his brain. <laughs> yeah. out of kentucky so you know so uh so all in all guys it's a listen you can't win it's, every the, week it's just the way no, it is they're, they're gone they're, i've told I, you know two weeks in a row criticism they've gone mm -hmm. the only the only one that's going to stay is hanky panky because oh, i'm sure he's excited he's excited about most things hanky panky yeah, I mean, I it's okay that they've gone because yeah. now you'll hire better people. Yeah, well, we we, we can but try, but it's just <laughs> it's just me, me, Mr. Mackay, Macau, sorry, and uh, and Hank. Studio audience. Now. Well, sure. they're still here. They're, they're definitely yeah. still here because um, you know, we'll uh, we bust them in. So, uh, are, you here? <laughs> are you here, guys? Are you here? No. All right. All right. Yeah. So good. Thank you. On behalf of all the money, thank you. Um, it's yeah, yeah. it's you, they what this lot down the front here, the noisy ones. They won't be here next time we come. Anyway, we're off. Yeah. Uh, where what are we, are we doing next? Sex horoscope, right? No. Oh yeah, we go. Oh, so we, this is um, this is. The, I, I uh, say it's, the, it's it's between the the paralyzing, basically just heating your balls up, and the Nazi yeah. raccoon. It's mm -hmm. a tough choice. Do I want to heat my balls up? No, but anything with Nazi raccoons, you got it's a whole that's a whole television series. So they're not Just so you like, can imagine the old, you can imagine the cartoons, the animation. I know, I can all. imagine the the Nazi raccoon, yeah. All right, here we go. Sex so, horoscope. So that I'll be out there doing it, I think, uh, these boys. So uh, let's see what's gonna happen this week. 
Uh, let's see. First of all, we have to uh, spin the wheel. All right, let's see what we got. Number one, Aries, 71%. Aries. Congratulations to them. They're going to get yeah. laid. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, it, looks like, it looks like it's at, uh, there's a lot of ramming going on this week. So, uh, oh, put up a T-shirt on Thursday, folks. Yeah, yeah. Boris, 99%. Well, congratulations yeah. I mean, to the ball. Seriously? I mean, the ball, is, it's not been a ball run, but it's going to be... Uh, there's going to be a bull uh, something this week. All yeah, right, it's good be for the ball. Of, lots of uh, rumpy pumpy for the ball this, I like this it. week, that's for sure. So you lucky boys out there, off we go. Emma, 30%. Eh, well, uh, yeah, do you remember the Geminis were on a good, those girls were on a I good know. run, the Geminis. Now they're not. Now they're like in, in 29 last week, 30 this week. They're not doing yeah. good at all. Yeah, all right. they're, cra they're crashing and burning. Yeah. So here we go. Cancer, 73%. All right, all right, not bad. It's respectable. You may get laid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You, know, you, could go to the, you could go to the shops with that one, could you? So there you go. go. Leo, 73%. Oh. I guess you're going to ah. hang out with the Cancers. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. They've, uh, they're hooked up. So it looks like the Ryan, the Ryan, the, the Ryan. The Ryan will sleep tonight. I forgot we got your teeth in. Um, no, the uh, the Ryan. The Ryan will sleep tonight. Ryan. There you go. All right. So, um, okay, let's uh, let's spin that wheel. Virgo, eighty six. Congratulations. There's a lot of nookie going on this week. There's a lot yeah. of nookie. I don't know if it's because people are you know got a little bit more energy after the election. Maybe. The, maybe. Maybe the they're all. Things. Maybe they're just. Fucking their fears away. Okay, let's yeah, see. Yeah, well, that's that's a possibility. They could just you be you know, just just chilling out after all the madness. Sure. Oh, well, apart Libra, from the fifty. They're not they're not doing anything this week. They're just yeah. sitting there no, with their dick in their hand. Okay. They're off to the they're supermarket. Yeah, they're done. They're they're done. <laughs> Scorpio, oh, 96. Wow. wow. Congratulations. That's a lot of stuff. I told you, Steve. I don't know what it yeah. is. I mean, they maybe think I make this stuff up. But, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening this week. I see and, that. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, I think if you, anybody got got shares in condom sales, they're going to go through the roof. Or you could get um, your sperm seated up. Yeah. Well, that may well, that may well be you're it. Just, yeah, well, the sperm. Could that, can you imagine how romantic that must be? Honey, do me. Okay, let me hit my sperm up. Oh, please. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So. yeah, I did I did that. You can buy a cheap, cheap, cheap Chinese telephone and stick. Man, that, that, is easy, that is easy for you to say. So, yeah. <laughs> what's our <laughs> next one? That's, that's, uh, oh, there's not a lot of oxygen in here today. Right, here we go. That's We're good. off. Scorpio, you already did that one. Yeah, it's you know, oh, we've we've uh, we're stuck. We're stuck. It's it's, it's no, we're not. There we're you stuck. go, Sagittarius. Nice, sixty nine percent. Oh, okay. stop touching, stop touching. There we go. There you go. There you go, Sagittarius at sixty nine percent. Okay. All right, spin that wheel. All right, spin that wheel. Capricorn, twenty six percent. Oh, I, I got what you call it. Siri helping me. A Capricorn. Okay. Hey, very yeah. good. All right, here we go. We got the next two coming up. Here we go. You got your calculator out? Yeah, here you go. Next. Aquarius, 82. Very nice. All right. Aquarius is at 82. This is very exciting. Yeah. Very happy about this. Here we go. All right, here comes Pisces. I got a slow button here. Pisces at 97, so 82, 97, it leaves me about 90% chance of getting laid. Woo Exciting for me. Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, a lot better than it has been. So, um, but I'm maybe it's, it's better because, than zero. Yeah, maybe because you're not stuck in a hotel room somewhere. but um, By myself, yes. That uh, yeah. has a lot to do yeah. with it, I think. So, very I, good. No, he's not, he's not yawning this week. He was yawning last week when we spoke to him. Well, you weren't here. No, I wasn't yawning. He watched the show. Oh, I no, you don't. 
Yeah, no, he don't. You don't watch the show. Stupid bird. Doesn't watch the show. Yeah, right. Anyway, we're off. We're off. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, conspiracy, conspiracy theories. theories. I love these. I love our conspiracy theories. All right, what's our conspiracy theory? Is this the Denver airport is a secret Illuminati headquarters? That is true. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go then. What can I say? The Denver airport in theory. Yeah, is the international airport hides a secret Illuminati base that hangs out with aliens. Everybody knows that's true. I've been there. It's very nice. Have nine foot urinals. It's a beauty. Okay. Well. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, get, uh, who who was that guy? Got that was you. Nice. Look at that. You got one guy that knows what he's doing there. Finally. Thank God. You might. You might. You might even stay. Hey, do you have any women that work for you by any chance over there, or is it just all guys? Uh, Maybe a transvestite or two, anything? Wow. What a misogynistic group of bastards you guys are in Dutch yeah. land. All right, I'm sorry, the Netherlands. Yeah, 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 it's all, like, yeah. just like being a Nazi, I guess. All right. It's, so. it's, it's okay. yeah, Nazis on Ah, that's awesome. That's a, that's a new show. That's a new show. All right. So our conspiracy theory. And could you live here? Where are we living this week? We're, we are living. We're going, we're going down under. Humpty do Australia. Yeah. Named after a station with unknown meaning. Humpty do. Yeah. Okay. Hold Humpty on. You don't have to look this up. Yeah, Humpty do. And this one, this one was from you. Wasn't it, eh? Yeah. All right, yeah. so here is here is Humpty Doo. Humpty Doo is a town in Australia's northern territory, situated just south of some highway, approximately forty kilometers from the Dar from Darwin. Okay, congratulations. In two thousand six, cents Humpty Doo had a population of forty three hundred, and um, its local government is a Lichtenfeld. The government. What's Humpty Dumpty famous for? The world's biggest set of water buffalo horns can be found in the Humpty Dumpty, Australia. Uh, hum Humpty Doo. That's what it's going to be. Humpty Doo. I'm sorry. Humpty Doo. That's what it's famous for. Um, for the biggest because water buffaloes in the world. Yeah. Humpty Dumpty was actually a cannon. But there you go. Really? Really? Yes. Yeah, oh, wait. So. Northern Territory. Oh, some intrigue. The town's remarkable. Big box croc. Um, top of all, it's actually, it says you should visit here. Well, welcome, Humpty sure. Doo. Humpty Doo, Australia. Could you? Yeah, that's meant to, just because we, just because it's got a strange name, doesn't mean to say that you should not. Yeah, you know, that's nice. I mean, I mean, last week it was boring. So, I mean, what would you want to go Boring, to but, uh, Portland, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so Humpty Doo, Humpty Doo, yeah. Australia. Very cool. Put that, on, well, put, that, put that on your bucket list. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's going there. No. <laughs> And the answer to this week's question, what was the first fruit eaten on the moon? I said an apple. Your choices were peach or bananas. The answer is... A peach, really. A Georgia peach was the first fruit eaten on the moon, and she was lovely. Okay, I thought it was... Yeah, it, was actually a, it was actually a tinned peach. peach. Oh, why wouldn't they? I see an apple to me is more American than a peach, but okay. Yeah. Well, not if it's in a tin. So, um, you, yeah, he gets it. I, I know. Everybody's been waiting for this. You need to get one wrong. Yes, I got one wrong. Okay. I got one wrong. <laughs> you got one wrong. Yeah, I know. You, wrong. You, might, you might even stay as well. It'll be two of you. Now they're going to stay because I got one wrong. Be the two of you. Yeah. No, not with him because he's nasty. Uh, right, so that'll um, that'll be the that'll be the two of you then. That are staying okay. over. We're on. Today, birthday cake on November six. It was happy birthday. That was anticlimactic. Adolf yeah. Sachs. Okay, yep. 1814 to 1894, the Belgian yeah, he's, he's, musician he's, he's, and inventor who created um, the so well. saxophone. Saxophone eventually became integrated to jazz, classical, and marching bands. I think of the sax for jazz and the blues. 
So, okay. Yeah. So, very cool. Well, Adolph Sachs, November 6th. Happy birthday! Happy birthday and uh, happy death uh, there. I guess yeah. he's now 100 and, whatchamacallit, he's 110 years old. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, was, that, you, was, was that a good one then, Stephen? Or, uh... the, the birthday? Yeah, the beauty. You got to oh. like a, a beauty. Yeah, here's a funny, here's a, here's a story. I played the saxophone when I was in elementary school. Yeah. Well, it's not your fault. Something nice, that's very true. They probably gave it to you because you were doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. I was always um, doing something said, I shouldn't be doing. So they said, uh, he just, at this boy needs more sax. So that's what yeah, they did. I got, that's, and that's why to this day I'm addicted to sax. Okay. Yeah. But I'm pumped. We're here till Thursday. Yeah. Don't forget to tip your weight staff. Try the veal. Okay. <laughs> what do we have next? Okay. So oh, hey, um, I saw one of the week. All we're right. nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah. Fans uh, are already here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, like, like everybody, just one last cheer, then, guys, because we're getting to the end of the show. Stephen's going to do it. Yeah. 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 A big doing, thank I'm you to um, Mr. McCall as well yeah. for being Wait, with us. Were they cheering he's because gone. it's the end of the show? Or just he's, cheering uh, because they <laughs> were doing my thing. Because one of all of the above. Uh, and so it's now up to you. And then uh, after that, we leave and um, never and come I'll back. The, and I'll hit the final ending after the AI babe. So anyway, oh, yeah, everybody, yeah. thank you. For, uh, thank you for listening and watching. Watching. If you have any suggestions for the show, I'm like listening and over. And I'm, 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 I'm watching. Yeah, well, are you a Nazi uh, raccoon? Is that what you're trying to tell I'm me? I'm a Nazi raccoon, apparently, this morning. Um, more scotch. Anyway, um, thank you for listening or watching, depending on if you're on the podcast or if you're here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Tell your friends. We're here every Wednesday, whether you like it or not. And we will be back next week with some more, more, ah, more no snobs or knobs. Man, I got to drink more. More no snobs or knobs. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to email us here at the show leave, or leave a comment, and we will see what we can do for you. So, yeah, or if you want to be a guest, because we have special guests, yeah. apparently. So if you want to be a guest, guest yeah, if, you, if you're if you're a, 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 a Macau. Any, any form of pup, puppet, you're welcome, it would be. Um, and that's the only that's the only remarks I'm going to make about the American election. But um, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I hope that's a good one. Here no we go. Right. All right, bye, bye everyone. See everybody next week. Uh,